Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day so far. And in today's video, I have some pro settings for the 2010 Camaro SS for racing. You guys have requested this on stream. And like I said, I'll make a video for you guys. And so here we are. I want to explain a little bit about the downsides of this car first before I get into the pro settings. So one of the downsides is the dirt. If you're not going as straight as possible and you're turning and you let off the throttle, most likely you will lose traction. So try to go as straight as possible and do not let off the throttle if you do not need to, or just don't try at all, to be honest. One of the other downsides of this car is it doesn't turn in immediately. So what that means is it eases into the turning and it becomes more responsive. And with the direction that I went with the tuning, I believe that I kind of minimized that a little bit, but it does still ease into the turning just not as much in my opinion so for pro settings the first thing i started off with was the brake balance i moved it more towards the rear i personally like the brake balance to be more towards the rear because it creates more of a parachuting effect also a downside of putting the brakes towards the front is there's more understeer when you're turning and you're braking so that's something to keep in mind sometimes putting it towards the rear does make the braking distance worse so just keep that in mind but for this car 50 percent is perfectly fine one of the other things that I did mess with was the springs. So as you see with the description, if you soften the springs, it makes it less responsive. So what we did was we put it more stiff and we did it both for the front and the rear plus 7%. Um, I did not mess with compression or rebound because the car handles bumps perfectly fine. If the car died on bumps, then I would definitely take a look at this and see where I can uh, improve that. But this car is perfectly fine on bumps. ARVs was another area that we messed with. Uh, so for the fronts, if you soften or reduce the fronts, it reduces understeer. If you reduce the rears, it reduces oversteer. So you want to stiffen the rear so it oversteers more and you want to soften the front so it oversteers more. So that's the direction I went with that. And for camber, I didn't mess with that because I'm kind of still messing with camber to be honest. At this moment, this car feels perfectly fine at default. If I do change the camber at any point, I'll probably have a pinned comment and I will let you guys know, but, but this car is perfectly fine at default. At the end of the video, I have a grand race for you guys so you can see how the car does. I hope this tune helps you guys in the grand race or in the playlist. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I appreciate all the support on the videos, on the streams, on the shorts. You guys have been killing it. Shout out to all of the YouTube members, AKA all of the people in the shadow realm. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.